hi friends welcome to creative crackers this is the channel now going to host a video on how to make a Wendy graph generator so I will explain it in the middle of the video now let's get started in making it you have to take a hollow cylindrical shaped container anything even a plastic bottle with and make it simple and easier to view on the bottom draw four dots just a dot which is perpendicular to each other and now it's time to drill a four holes there the, the holes are just to make the motor keep fit inside this hole so that we can make a pulley a pulley is nothing but a rotating material which we can see in our homes everywhere the best example is a well now make a drill in the four points so I have zoomed it to make a better view for you yeah drilling yeah drill is fine yes it is the closer views much nice the four dots are there and the third one you need not to make a drill on the fourth point it is because it's not sufficient now take a 6 volt DC motor and insert it into the hole yeah you can see it there now you can use arm um, very quick or double sided tape to make stick now take a refill and insert the motor tip there it goes fine and now see how much distance is needed just in centimeters and make a marking there and cut it, it, it this is a tip of the pen you want to insert so that the rotation is smooth on the other side okay now it's time to insert the motor and check how it works it goes into the motor smoothly and goes into the other side so it is fine you can even rotate the ripple the ripple is nothing but the pulley I have already mentioned it now take some thread the thread I have rolled is not compulsory because but why I have winding the thread means the ripple is a smooth substance so that the, the belt we have which we are going to place it on over will not be no longer used because a smooth material will not conduct as such that means the belt will not be shrinky and will be get loosed so now stick the motor with a double sided tape now inside the motor yes 3 2 1 success see the tip of the rifle on the other side which means a success so now rotate yes it's rotating finely take a wire which has many copper inside it and now insert it because according to corona of the choice the, see if we supply a voltage of 12 volts the Sharp points of the copper which can able to liberate or we can easily solicit escape of charges that means when I uh, give some current through this wire the, the current can able to escape from the wire through the sharp edges that is nothing but coronal discharge indicates that so it's fine now it's time to stick a tape there so that we cannot uh, damage the wire okay just use something smoothy there so that the rotation is simple I have used a stick which is straight to the motor so that the pulley on the other side makes perfect okay let's make a marking yes just in the same way 
Ah, now it's time for knife to blend there. Yes, start. Why, wow, yes, I have stopped. Take a refill there, or if you are really enough, use a ball bearing, which can be simple easier. But I have used it just a refill so that the work is smooth. Yes, see that you can just cut a small pieces there and now time to stick it yes with a strong glue like very quick it is instant you so be careful just place it over the markings and just drops a few few drops of very quick or flex quick there you can use any super glues but be careful the smokes oh it's pretty dangerous be careful oh yes it's fine now place the stick the stick here and now make a marking so that we can wind up thread here too yes in the same way now I have a clear idea of where to wind the thread so let's just start it in the both edges apply just some um, strong glues like very quick or even very cold so that it won't be escaped or used be springy i have not so shown how to glue it because you already know it now it's time for strong glues to be applied yes I have applied and check whether it reads because while using uh, the strong glue we may accidentally stick the stick to wooden stick yes by good time I didn't do it now we have we can um, use this electrical tape as the belt if you have a silk belt it is pretty pretty good but this cheap and best so it's a so be careful because if it uh, gets stick to the inside of the hello material it will be hot for you uh, below that I have placed a handicraft design which is made by me so that it will be used easy for me to uh, do the work and I can easily judge any mistakes if I have done so the belt is going to be ready and see how I've done it you can do you can use any instruments like I have used it now stick it as a belt in a tight way so that it can roll over and not be loosey yeah that's it it finished so how to it's time to cut the extra tape as I cut do yes it is finished so the next step is to place a sharp point wires that is ordinary copper wire which has number of plates wires in it check whether it works yes it works fine that's a sign of good see whether it is all separated it should not be joined in such a way that the coronal discharge does not occur just place a cardboard with this radical hole in it so that it will be easier for us to place the hello metallic cylinder or such substances yes you can find it from one from your home or in proper garage. Yes, it's look fine. Uh, now it's time for to place a co copper wire. This copper wire uh, attracts the electrons or the positive energies, which is going to the pit oops the gum overflows. It's not a problem, we can take over it. Yeah, it's time for soldering. 
starting is the best part of the winding wax because it's pretty simple yes I have done it and now it's time to add a switch I have used a 9 volt battery clip and I'll just I'll solder the negative terminal and the rest and the other wire in the motor to the switch so that it will work fine here we go I'm going to solder at one end of the switch with a negative terminal of the 9 volt battery and other with the motor yes do it in the same way as I do so meanwhile soldering if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe and it is a 9 12 volt battery eliminator which can go up to 12 volts with a ampere of 500 milliamps now it's time to join the corona to give corona discharge uh, that is yeah press 12 volts to this terminal and you have to ground how to ground you can just even use a simple magnetic clip sorry metallic clip uh, it's grounded that's it or even you can just solid it to a metal anything or just kept in a free air now join the 9 volt battery to it to the battery clip now it's time to switch on the motor yes it started on running oops the motor is running, running in the wrong way so that I have to return it should be run in the way that it goes from up to down or to not from up to down so it's not not wrong in it however it works now it's time for testing let's wait for some times so because it how it works we know is because once the charge is filled it only overflows at that time only we can get some extra charges at that time only the generator works till now some positive energy is given at the spare surface I just used a multimeter ordinary multimeter to check how much current we get at initially it is zero volt now it's time for me to connect the ground to the ground that it's a metal clip and the spare surface it can give up to 30 it's very yes the post ones are not strong enough because the cut of uh, the particles are leaking if we have kept it in your metallic sorry glass phrase it closed vacuum the, the energies don't get liberated or escaped oops a shock will be yes that's a shock because at the time of leaking there will be a shock be careful and have a nice day if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe for more videos thank you have a nice